I want to remind us that the first sin of man wasn't murder, but the first sin of man is what he put in his mouth. We're now in the 21st century, and in the 21st century and the era of video games, these young people, they almost come out of the womb uh, working their thumbs in video games. And the uh, preoccupation of young people with sports is not as... Uh, popular as it once was. This new study published today in the Journal of Adolescent Youth looked at more than 6,000 middle school children across the nation and found that nearly 7% are not obese but severely obese in the 99th percentile for weight which means the problem is worse than believed. The second study by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and Trust for America's Health, both public health advocacy groups, not only found obesity rates up in 28 states, but also that more than a quarter of the population is obese in two-thirds of the states. But why, if we know this is going on, do we keep putting on weight? Dealing with in this country among Muslims and non-Muslims is obesity um, is, some, is very, very problematic. Um, so we have, to, we have to do better. We have to do better with our diets. You know, um, a couple of years ago, maybe about four years ago, I was diagnosed with um, prostate cancer. Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me. I got uh, treatment and uh, my health is, 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 is well now, Alhamdulillah. What I did not know or did not realize at the time was that um, diabetes, and particularly type 2 diabetes, uh, ran in my family and that I had a uh, genetic uh, predisposition towards type 2 diabetes. Uh, I never knew it because I was so active, physically active, so physically fit, fit physically fit, constantly exercising and working out and what, and what have you, that I never experienced diabetic uh, uh, symptoms. It is one thing to go to the masjid to learn the Quran, good. Go to the masjid, learn hadith, good. Have classes, have halakha, yes. But you have to also make sure that your health is intact. Um, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, is reported to have said, the best, best person is those who live a long life and a good life. Assalamu alaikum. This is Brother Abdul Malik. I want to encourage my brothers and sisters to reflect upon the importance of living a very healthy life. A healthy life includes the ability for us to worship Allah in a very unique way. And from my limited experience visiting many Muslims in the hospital, I have found that one of the number one things that has contributed to us being sick and having a very painful death is a lack of physical fitness. And many of our uh, diets contribute to a lot of the problems that we suffer from. So Barmaster Extreme is one of the best programs I've seen that can actually help us have that sense of discipline and inner strength. And I would encourage you, brothers and sisters, to do whatever you can to make sure in the very near future that Bar Master Extreme has your unlimited support. And for those of you who would like to know more about Bar Master Extreme, I encourage you to get in contact with Brother Hassan. And brothers and sisters, it is extremely important that we understand the importance of health. If we are healthy, we, not, we cannot prolong life, but we can impact on the quality of the life that we have been given. As we know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that every soul, kullu nafsun da'at al that every soul has an appointed date to die. We will not affect the time in which we die, but the quality in which we live is affected by whether or not we're in health or we're in sickness. So I pray that you will take these few words to heart and do whatever you can, brothers and sisters, to get in shape and network with Bob Max the Extreme. May Allah bless you. I give you the greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa so this is your brother, Imam Al-Hajj Talib Abdul Rashid, Imam of the Mosque of Islamic Brotherhood in the village of Harlem in New York City. And I'm um, recording this interview with uh, Brother Hassan Abdul Salam in order to express my support for the uh, growing institution that's known as uh, Bar Masters Extreme and its uh, campaign for health, fitness, and wellness 
in the Muslim community. Very, very concerned about our, our, our health. My, myself, alhamdulillah, I try to jog every day. I go to the track um, um, and I do a couple of miles, sometimes two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles, but a consistent, uh, on a consistent basis. So I am recommending that the Muslims would do better. Um, Bar Masters uh, Extreme, uh, this extraordinary group is having a fundraiser soon dealing with health and fitness of our community. You have to go and you have to support them. I support them 100%. Some might ask, well, why is this important? First of all, there is a need throughout the country of America, regardless of uh, faith or religion, for an increase, uh, particularly amongst the young people, insofar as health and fitness is concerned. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, I support uh, living a healthy life in the Muslim community, and I encourage all of you to support the fundraiser for Revival Lives, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. This is Imam Yusuf Ramadan of Bastion Nuruddin and the Clara Muhammad School in Queens, New York, giving my uh, emphatic support for health and fitness in the Muslim community and the Reviving Lives uh, fundraiser. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Amir al-Islam, Dr. Amir al-Islam. I am an advocate for health and fitness in the Muslim community and I support, I'm a supporter of Reviving Lives fundraiser. This is YCO Rough Riders. Assalamu alaikum. Health and fitness, reviving lives, fundraiser, is family.